Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Constance the Reader and today we are doing a manga haul video. So I know I have a bit to talk about, but I actually feel pretty good about what I did buy this month. I basically didn't go too crazy, right? This is for the whole month just kind of sporadically getting things. A lot of this stuff was on my wish list, so we were good there. But I also got a few other things, but I didn't go crazy is what I'm trying to get at. Like there were also a lot of deals this month, buy one, get one half off. A lot of stuff was heavily discounted at Second and Charles. So I feel pretty good about it. So without further ado, let's get into everything I bought in the month of July. It's kind of gonna be all over the place. Um, the stacks are kind of wobbly, so. You know, we're gonna be careful there. I got the newest volume of The Titan's Bride, volume four. I've already started reading this. I'm a little over halfway through. You know, I had to say, and I and I had to stop myself <laughs> earlier because I was talking to Devin. I was like, you know, there is a plot. I know you're probably thinking there's no way, especially if you have if you even know what Titan's Bride is about. But there is a bit of a plot, like right now someone is trying to basically make it so Caius is not going to be the king of the Titan realm and by doing that they're gonna have to kill Koichi and it's going crazy it's been going on to, since uh I don't know volume one so I just want to put that out there <laughs> definitely a problematic story okay there, there are things that are like okay now but there is a bit of a story going on I know that's hard to believe but yeah, volume five comes out at the end of this year. I'm interested. I know I haven't finished this volume, but I want to see where this is going. We're about to learn magic, so that's pretty cool. But yes, I got this volume. Hopefully I didn't already mention these in the last video. I know that I made a YouTube short with these, or at least I think I did. So if I mentioned them in a previous video, I'm sorry. It is what it is. But I got volume nine of Miracle Chan. I like I read it, I liked it. I'm still really enjoying that series. I know I've mentioned several times that I understand why people have dropped the series, but I still really enjoy it. Also, Call of the Night Volume 16. I read this for a vlog that you guys will see, and I also liked it. I mean, it's kind of slow going as you're reading it as the volumes release, but it's definitely getting interesting. Like, it's just taking a while for Ko and Mahiru to talk like why is this still not happening it's getting kind of annoying but it's fine I got Don to Don volume eight I'm a f I actually think I'm not behind like I just need to read this volume I think I read the last volume so I should be good Don to Don is still really good I'm not sure when the anime is coming out but I highly recommend it been waiting for the second volume of this now I got the first volume as a gift bought the third volume because it was used and this was not used but I've been waiting for volume two of Samelparus. So I'm excited about that. Really nothing was stopping me from starting the series, but I like to have more than one volume <laughs> if I have another volume in the series. So sue me. Am I right? I got Throw Away the Suit together. This looks really cute. I'm excited about it. If anyone's read this, let me know. I got, now this was definitely a cover buy because I hadn't heard anything about this, but this I got during the buy one get one half off. And that was the night captain is the new princess to be. Mm, like I'm really liking series like this. I think, I, I don't, I, I don't know if I would say that I have a favorite publisher, but I do really tend to like everything by seven seas. So I don't think I'm going to be disappointed reading this. I obviously had to get the newest volume of Seventh Time Loop. I will be reading this in August because today is the 31st of July. So I can't wait. You know, I love Seventh Time Loop. I mentioned this in the next few in a reading vlog, but I finally got 10 Count Volume 2. Very random. Found this in Second and Charles. I had found every other volume in Second and Charles except for this one. So I didn't know when I was going to be able to get it because it wasn't on Crunchyroll and I wasn't looking at any other sites, but I feel like I got really lucky. Same thing with Yarichin Bitch Club. I got volume one, volume two, and volume three. Basically all the ones that I was looking for. 
this was just so crazy. I got this at the same time as 10 count and I was just so giddy about that. Like I could not believe it. And it was really funny because the employee at Second and Charles was like, I'm so glad you bought those because I was gonna buy them and I really shouldn't buy them. So I was like, I got you girl, I got you. Was so excited to see that the condemned villainess goes back in time and aims to become an ultimate villain. Volume two was kind of out to buy a little bit early. So already read it, read it for a reading vlog. Absolutely love it. I can't get enough. I can't get enough. I can't get enough so much that I'm gonna get the light novel because I really know that I'm gonna like this series. It's just so good. I also got the Villainess's Guide to Not Falling in Love, Volume 2. This was really good. I, I, I'm experiencing the same thing as I did with the first volume, which is like, it seems like I should know more than I do, but I'm really liking it. I also mentioned in a reading vlog, I didn't realize how everybody's hair was purple. I had no idea. That's not what I thought. It's so pastel that it's kind of blinding, but I still like the cover. She's cute. And then I got Rosenblood Volume 5. I read this. I think the series as a whole is not bad. I actually did not mind Rosenblood. I got lost when I restarted the series. I think Volume 3 had me like, what's going on again? I don't remember. So I would recommend don't take a break <laughs> for too long because I think it was many months between Volume 2 and Volume 3 for me that I was like, I don't remember what is going on but I enjoyed myself I, I definitely did not mind the series if I was going to rate it as a whole I would say I'd probably do like 3.5 because I liked it enough to finish it I, I could have could have absolutely DNF'd that because you know I don't mind but I'm glad that I finished it and it was pretty good and the art was beautiful I was so excited because I got the villainess and the demon knight, Lord Luke and Cecilia knocking boots this way, that way, up, down, left, right. It was crazy. And I still like it. I still enjoy this. Again, this is Seven Seas but Steamship and I just like it so much. I can't get enough. My mom was very kind and got me volume 12 of I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. Have I started volume one? No. Will I be starting? Hopefully. Hopefully in the month of August I will read the series and I'm excited for that because the anime was fantastic so I definitely want to continue reading it. I got How I Met My Soulmate volume three. I haven't started it yet but I will be. <laughs> I'm excited. And I also got Witch Hat Atelier Volume 12. This is the most recent volume that released. I do need to pick that series back up because I really liked it. And the anime is coming out at some point. I don't know if it's soon. I can't wait to watch it. Moving on. So I'm going to talk about two volumes that are, won't be in this video because they won't be here until Sunday. I ordered The Summer You Were There Volume 5 and the second volume of the series that I started and I'm slowly getting all the volumes for. The Eccentric Doctor of the Moonflower Kingdom. So I got volume two, which is coming soon, but I got this during that buy one, get one, and I I, I love it. I, I like it a lot. So I went ahead and just ordered the second volume and a bunch of other volumes because why not? I saw them at Second and Charles, but this was really good. This first volume, it definitely still gives off that Mm, the je ne sais quoi that the Apothecary Diaries have and though I am an to villainess it's just something about it it's just so good it is my drug I love it a few others so my mom was really nice and she got me disobey the duke if you dare this was really good the cover is beautiful read this for a reading vlog I like it a lot I think it's really nice I'm, I'm definitely going to continue on with the series and it's by M Manta I downloaded the app. I'm a little confused by it. So if you've ever used Manta, let me know how you like it, if you think it's worth it. It's not that anything on there is like truly free to read, I don't think. Like, I think it lets you read a sample for free. I haven't tested it out yet, but if it lets me read like a full volume for free, then that would be nice. I also got Before You Discard Me, I Shall Have My Way With You. Read this for a reading vlog. My thoughts are definitely of, of shock and awe, but I'm gonna continue with the series. 
This was very interesting. I got this on the buy one, get one half off. I got it based on the cover. Did not realize that she is chained. Didn't realize this was Steamship either. I, I didn't realize that at the time. I, I quickly found out. But I like the series and I'm gonna continue on with that. I can't, I can't deny. I saw these the other day at Second and Charles and they're all used and I, I don't know. I, I think I've seen people talk about this series. I just don't remember what they said. And that was Mint Chocolate. I got volume one, volume two. It looks like a little demon eyes. And volume three. Not sure how long the series is, but if I end up liking it, I'll continue on reading it. But I'm excited for now. I, I'm excited. It's going to be very cute. As I mentioned, I want to read the light novel of The Condemned Villain S Goes Back in Time and Aims to Become the Ultimate Villain. So I got the first volume. I know that the second volume of this light novel is at my local Books A Million. I'm not going to jump to get it right away, but I know that I will be reading this because I like it so much. This one, I was on the fence about getting. I was just intrigued by it. And then I saw it it's like Charles used so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and get it and that is my boss is a giant he manages my every need with enormous skill yeah another steamship I'm excited for it I mean I'm I'm reading the Titan's Bride so I'm used to a giant situation here but oh see I didn't I didn't go through it mm-hmm mm-hmm let me tell you something I don't want to say too much because my parents watch these videos, but a particular body part gets played with a lot for everybody in a lot of these stories. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. It's very nice. Anyway, I also got volume three, five, and six of The Eccentric Doctor of the Flower Moon Kingdom. So as of right now, the only volume that I'm missing is volume four. I think volume four might be at Books A Million that's close to me. So we'll see. I might end up getting it. I don't need it right now, but it would be nice to have. Sometimes for me, that's where I'm coming from. Like, I just want to have it. It doesn't matter that it. I, I'm not going to get to it right away. I just want it. I know I have to exercise some more control, but we shall see. Since I have been picking up and reading more often Chojin X I will be starting volume four soon I read volumes two and three recently for a reading vlog I decided to get volume five I'm just going to take my time I'm not going to rush into getting volume six I have I'm sure volume seven if volume seven is coming out I'm not sure how long the series is I will wait for it it's probably coming out soon if it does exist so just going to take my time read as buy as I read as I go I also decided to get Heart Gear Volume 2. So if anybody watched my, not the most recent one that's about to come out, I'm going to be editing, I'm going to be editing that after I film this. But the one before that, I started to read Heart Gear Volume 1. I had to stop because I started crying. I could not mentally handle what I knew was about to happen. But eventually, after the vlog was over, I read the rest of the volume and I really, really liked it. And the way it ended, I just felt like, okay, I have to read the second volume and I don't feel as depressed and sad as I thought I was going to be. So we're okay. Okay. So I ha went ahead and got volume two and I went ahead and got volume three. Volume four is out, but I said, I'm going to wait. I don't want to. Sometimes it's just like, because I can buy something, I want to buy it. I know I gotta control that. I also know that I said I was probably not gonna continue getting more of these volumes, but I could not help myself. I didn't know that a new one was coming out and someone posted about this and I was like, uh, I have to have this. Okay, this series, the art is just so beautiful. The characters are so beautiful. I'm just going to read it because I can't help myself, but that is In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, Volume 7. Everybody is still just so beautiful, so cool. It's just so nice. I mean, to, to, to be young and cool, can you imagine? I was, I was okay in high school, but I was goth in high school, so it was a little different, you know. Goth and then transition to scene. 
what a time one of the best times of my life i miss those clothes that i used to wear oh i miss goth connie goth connie was so first but anyway there you have it that is my july manga haul thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it july has been an interesting month i've had a lot of emotional lows but in general everything has been good so that's just a little update for me okay i've been i've been having my little depressed sad needing to cry moments but i've gotten the cries out and i'm back and better than ever baby so yeah so that's exciting so i hope you guys liked my haul what new volumes have you guys bought recently what have you been reading recently what do you suggest is there anything that i picked that you know that i haven't read yet that you think i should prioritize sooner rather than later let me know down in the comments and thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like the video if you like like it subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on other social media it's in the description box down below and you have a good day goodbye